Hello dear student, welcome again. I am Dr. Vasan Boraste from Department of Commerce, KTHM College Nasik. Today I am going to discuss with you about the piecemeal distribution of cash. One example for practicing purpose. So all of you are requested to take a screenshot of this example and uh, solve it in your notebook. So this is an example of piecemeal distribution of cash as per surplus capital method. Problem is very simple, which is uh, purely uh, related to the piecemeal distribution of cash and based on earlier example, you can view the earlier videos and on that basis you can solve this example in for your practicing purpose. So problem is very simple, A, B and C were in partnership sharing profits and losses in the proportion of 5 is to 3 is to 10 uh, 2, that is 5 10 is to 3 10 is to 2 10, that means the ratio is 5 is to 3 is to 2. They decided to dissolve the partnership firm on 31st December 2019 when their balance sheet was as follows. Balance sheet is given on 31st December 2019. Capital of A, B and C uh, it is given as 30,000, 20,000 and 10,000. Then profit and loss account is 10,000. What we have to do? We have to uh, add this profit and loss that is profit which is given on the liability side. The capital in their profit sharing ratio. Then creditors is 25,000, A's loan 10,000, bills payable 10,000 and and <coughs> bills payable 10,000 and misses A's loan 15,000. So uh, I will explain the priority of payment over here. Uh, with that we have some assets, building, machinery, furniture, debtors, bank balance that is cash in our hand, not in our hand but it is in our, in our bank and stock of rupees 5,000. So with this there is an adjustment of Mr. Ramesh was appointed to be in charge of dissolution proceeding and was to be paid rupees 5000 towards its remuneration and expenses. Means what? <coughs> 5000 is our realization expenses. On the very first day we have to kept aside or we have to pay rupees 5000 to Mr. Ramesh as a realization expenses. As per the agreement with the bank, partners were entitled to withdraw rupees 10,000 only at present means what on the very first day of that is 30 uh, 31st jan december 2019 or 1st of january 2020 uh, we are going to withdraw of rupees 10000 only and after 10000 uh, 10000 we can withdraw after 10th march 2020 that means uh, you have to add this 10000 that is second uh, second um, amount or we can say a balance amount of bank 10000 because in our bank there is 20000 10,000 we are going to withdraw on the very first day and the balance 10,000 we will withdraw on after 10th March on or after 10th March so you have to add this amount uh, at the time of realization then it was agreed that cash should be distributed in the uh, in their due order as and when received the realization is as follows so the, it is very simple that whenever you will receive the cash that means on 29th of January first realization is there 25,000 at that time you have to issue or you have to distribute the cash on 29th february you have got a realization of rupees 35000 and on the 27th march 11000 so with this uh, i have uh, you can solve the example uh, with this there is one uh, another adjustment that at the end of uh, march 2020 unrealized stock of rupees 5000 were taken by mr a at 80% of the book value so <coughs> Stock value is rupees 5000, uh, 80 percent of 5000 that means uh, 4000 uh, will be received or we can say we, you can add it 4000 in your cash balance. So prepare statement showing placement distribution of cash. So you can take a screenshot or you can download this exam uh, video and <coughs> solve the example for practicing purpose. So I would like to share one more thing that is surplus capital surplus of a and this is the answer surplus of a 5000 surplus of b 5000 and absolute surplus that means at the end you can find a surplus of mr b that is 2000 here i am going to share with you the uh, priority of payment first of all you have to pay a remuneration of mr ramesh that is realization expenses 5000 then third party liability you can see here the third party liability creditors and mrs is loan and bills payable these are third party liabilities so we have third, three third party liability creators misses a loan and bills payable that is 25,000, 50,000 and 10,000. So the total amount is rupees 50,000 and we have to pay it in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2 which is based on 25 is to 15 is to 10. 
so the ratio comes as 5 is to 3 is to 2. After the payment of third party liability, you can pay partners on which is given on the liability side. So this one is third party liability, this one is third party liability, and this one is third party liability. That means you have to pay creators, bills payable, and Mrs. A's loan as a third party liability. After that, you have a partner's loan. So you have to pay partner's loan that is Mr. A's loan 10,000, which is given over here, A's loan 10,000. Then you can pay surplus of Mr. Uh, B is rupees 10,000 as I earlier mentioned. That surplus of Mr. B is 2,000 and A B absolute surplus is 2,000 and surplus of A and B rupees 5, 5,000. So out of that 5,000, we have already paid 2,000 in the uh, earlier step that is surplus capital. So here A will receive 5,000 and B will receive 3,000. After that, you have to pay all the balance cash available with your hand in the ratio of 5 to 3 to 2. So this is the uh, one more hint for your solution. And at the end, you will find a realization loss. I'm not going to share with you a full solution, but I'm just sharing with you uh, an answer of this example that is realization loss. So you will find realization loss uh, of rupees 40,000 that is bared by Mr. A20, Mr. B12, and Mr. C8000. So best of luck and solve this example. Thank you. Thank you very much.